Hi, it's Sue. We're doing the churning waters today as part of the background for the point on style block. Basically, you're looking at doing a banana shape or a C shape and just doing it repetitively. In some ways, it's similar to a meander because you're changing directions and you want to keep it random. When you need to change direction, you might have to backtrack a bit like you would normally do. Like any free motion quilting, you just want to keep your motion smooth and let your hands control your speed. What speed you go at is up to you. As you might notice, I didn't actually do this on the block. I had videoed it, but apparently I had turned the video off when I should have been filming and turned it back on in between. Just change your hands when you need to to get better control of the quilt sandwich. In awkward corners, just do little C shapes to fill in the area. What I'm trying to do is keep one end of it um, evenly spaced and coming to a point at the other to try and maintain that wave shape. I don't know if this has a different name. I call it churning waters simply because it reminds me of when waters are crashing over waves or that whole white water sort of effect because you've got the randomness of the pattern. Sorry, I forgot to zoom in more. I haven't tried to keep this with a perfect exact number in each section. I've tried to keep the randomness of it.
With background patterns like this, you'll find as you're coming towards the end, you'll do a lot more backtracking to get to smaller areas where you need to fill them up. It's the same principle, just backtrack, go to where you need to go to do it. If you need to stop and think about how you're going to get to an area, please do so. As you get more experience, you don't need to stop and think as much about how you're going to get to a certain spot or how you're going to fill that in. It comes more naturally. And that's the finished effect. Thank you for watching.